But offering a seat to older staff risks discrimination. This is a tribunal yeah. in Birmingham hearing a case brought by a 66-year-old worker. It was far more complicated than the headline suggests. Uh, and uh, his case was actually rejected. Um, now, the man is now 68. He insisted that his employers were um, employees weren't actually other employees weren't allowed to sit. The fact that he was offered a seat doing his job in a recycling factory, what he says was part and parcel of discrimination. Um, so we've got a bit of a clickbait headline, but le let's talk about this particular mm. case where Age discrimination is a real thing. Yeah. You're offering somebody a chair? Difficult, isn't it? Uh, I found this case quite difficult to consider because you got the sense that it was uh, a marathon proceedings with all kinds of factors. And I certainly was not in that trial, not an employment lawyer. Uh, it's often a challenge from that point of view when you read these articles because often, Tricia, they're badly reported. But I have to say, yeah. definitely, not, definitely not badly reported here, but a difficult job to do. It's Jonathan Ames, the Times legal correspondent who's written this report. I, I know Jonathan, and he is among the most important figures in legal journalism and a straight shooter. Uh, he's done yeah. his best, I think, in a complex case. It is true that the judge did make some qualified comments about specific circumstances that sometimes special treatment, even though it ostensibly on the surface, it seems that it's there to help. It can feel mm. like discrimination. And we know that, don't we? You know, aren't old people often patronized and told, oh, you, you just take it easy. You shouldn't be exerting. Oh, yourself. You can't do and of course, that's actually a way. That's a way of making them toothless. It's a way of diminishing them. Uh, and and yeah. not in all cases, but it can be easily abused by apparently well-meaning relatives. Uh, we've all seen it, haven't we? Uh, I can yeah. say this. Whatever the case was in this particular case, whatever the nuance, there's no legal rule that you can't be nice to old people, okay? Sure. It's important to remember that an employment law court's first instance tribunal, which this was, it's not binding on other, on other courts. It doesn't make new law. So it's not one of those courts like the High Court or the Court of Appeal that other courts then have to follow. And to that extent, I think I do disagree uh, with Jonathan, uh, you know... <laughs> It's difficult. I was not there in this case. Uh, and that nuance is something really that only the parties who were there and probably the judge himself uh, or herself uh, really knows what was meant and what was the emphasis. He lost the case, so it can't have yes. been that significant. Uh, and we should say in Jonathan Ames is, is, is defense, often it's a sub editor who comes up with the headline who probably isn't as well acquainted with the goings on as the actual journalist. 